Welcome to Black Children's Books Read Aloud. What is a Dream? Written by Shanita Allen. One starry night, when the sky was super bright, little Ari climbed into bed and turned out the light. I wonder what I'll dream tonight. What places will I go? I guess until I close my eyes, I'll never really know. What is a dream? Asked a voice that came from down below. Ari looked at the floor in shock. Say it isn't so. Pepper, was that you? Did you just speak? For heaven's sake. No, you're a dog. I'm not dreaming, I'm still awake. Pepper looked at Ari and tilted her head to the right. Yep, I can talk, said Pepper, giving Ari quite a fright. First, Ari started screaming and headed for the door. Then she remembered, Pepper's my friend, and wasn't afraid anymore. Ari turned around and walked back towards her friend. I'm sorry I ran away, Pepper. I hope I didn't offend. It's okay, said Pepper, excitedly <laughs> wagging her tail. I know it's shocking to hear me speak. Just breathe, inhale, exhale. Ari sat back on the bed and tried hard to relax. When did you start talking, Pepper? Tell me all the facts. I could always talk, she said. I speak to you every day. And now that you are wiser, you understand what I say. I'm glad that's finally happened and now we can converse. So many things to talk about, said Pepper. But first things first. What is a dream? Asked Pepper. I've heard you mention it before. Is it something you can see and touch? I'm curious, tell me more. Ari thought for a second. Hmm, where do I start? A dream is a place where you can go in your mind, but it lives inside of your heart. You start with a wish, be specific and focus. Then just close your eyes and bam, hocus pocus. Your dream is right there in front of your eyes. It could be anything, any shape or any size. Whatever you're hoping for, it's you the dream will find and make a wish out loud or say it in your mind. Pepper stared at Ari with a curious look on her face. So are you able to dream at any time or any place? Yes, said Ari smiling. I do it all the time. Last week I was dreaming in the grocery checkout line. You can dream in the day. You can dream in the night. You can dream in the dark. You can dream in the light. So what do dreams look like? Asked Pepper with glee. They look like sunshine and rainbows to me. What do dreams sound like? Asked Pepper with cheer. They sound like the first sound of morning you hear. Birds chirping and singing and dancing so free? Or the sound of the ocean and waves on the sea? What do dreams smell like? Asked Pepper so kind. Freshly baked cookies are what first come to mind. What do dreams taste like? Asked Pepper so sweet. They taste like strawberries or your favorite treat. Yummy. What do dreams feel like? Asked Pepper with joy. Dreams feel different for every girl and every boy. But to me, Ari said, it's like floating on the moon or dancing on the clouds to your favorite tune. That sounds so exciting said Pepper. Take me! I love to go dreaming and see what you see. Well, Pepper, great news! 
you can dream your own dream. And of course, you'll come with me, we'll make a great team. So they both made a wish, were specific and focused. Then they closed their eyes tight and bam, hocus pocus. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. Most importantly, please support the author by purchasing their book. Until next time.